Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain how to perform merge operation in Databricks development. Merge statement is also called upset operation. What is upset operation? When we have to update the target table based on the latest incoming source data, we have to compare the data. If there is a match found between source and target, then the target data would be updated based on the source. If there is no match found in the target table, which means in the source we received new data, so new record would be inserted into the target table. This operation is called upset or merge operation. This is one of the most commonly used operation in any database development. When data lake got introduced in the big data development, we were not able to perform merge operation. It was one of the shortcoming of the data lake. Later, when Databricks introduced the delta lake, we were we are able to perform merge operation. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to perform merge operation using PySpark and also Spark SQL. But why I'm going to explain these two different approaches. Merge statement can be performed as Spark SQL, but still it's not suitable for all the scenarios. Even I came across some scenarios where I have to create user defined function and using that user defined function, I have to perform merge operation. So in PySpark, I can create UDF. So some scenarios are not suitable uh, for Spark SQL. So that's the reason I'm going to cover both the scenarios, how to perform merge operation using PySpark and also Spark SQL. I have logged into Databricks uh, environment and also I have created a notebook for this demonstration. First, I'm creating some libraries and also I'm defining one schema to produce our sample data. Let me execute this step. It's done. Then I'm creating one sample record. Let us assume this is our source data. I have created a data frame that is TF, which is containing employee ID, name, city, count, country and contact number. So here, employee ID that is the primary key using this we will join. We will perform the update operation. So here name Michael, city Columbus and country USA and there is a contact number. So this is the target, this is our source data. So I'm going to create a delta table. It's going to be empty delta table initially. So in this step I'm creating delta table. This is syntax for creating delta table. I have created and I'm going to display the content of the delta table. It's a new table, so we don't have any data. That's the reason you can see query returned no results. Now, I'm going to explain to you how to perform merge operation using Spark SQL. So already I have created one cell for that. So this is the syntax for performing merge operation. So it starts with merge into, then we have to give the target. So in our case, target is a delta table, team employee. Just now we have created team employee. So dim employee, that is our target. And source, so for source, here I have already created one source data frame, which we are going to perform merge operation. But when we have to use Spark SQL, we have to make the source and target as table. Then only we will be able to perform uh, any SQL operation. So our source is actually data frame. So I'm converting the data frame into table or view. In this case, I'm creating temp view using this syntax. So let me execute this one. So now temp uh, view got created, that is uh, named source view. Let me display the data from source view. Here you can see this is our source data, whatever we have produced in a previous cell, that is the output of this source. And let me also display the target, target is empty, our delta table. Now I'm going to perform merge operation, you know, as per this merge operation, it will uh, take the target, it will update the target table using the source based on the condition, based on the joining employee ID. And when there is a match, um, uh, you know, matched records, then it will update all the target columns based on the source value. If there is no match found, then it will insert all the records. So currently our target uh, delta table is empty, which means it won't match for any records. It means it's a brand new record. So it will be inserted using this uh, uh, part of the code. When not matched, then it will insert. 
so uh, let me execute this operation we have created source view then I have also displayed now I am going to perform the merge operation let me execute this part so it's performing the merge operation now it got completed it has a number of affected rows one number of inserted rows one we can see the statistics so let me display the data from the delta table now here you can see the one source record that got inserted using merge statement now you know we have seen how it is getting inserted now I want to show you one more example where I want to update you know I want to give some source data which is eligible for update and also few other records which is eligible for insert so I'm going to create another sample data so here you can see uh, another set of sample data here I'm giving one record that is matching employee ID that is matching 1000 1000 but I'm going to give I'm going to alter the city from Columbus to Chicago so this is one record this will be eligible okay when the merge statement uh, checks um, it will be matched okay it will meet the matched condition then it will start updating all the columns so, so the city Columbus would be updated based on the latest value and also I have inserted one more record okay uh, for that employee ID is 2000 Nancy New York USA and some contact number so let me create this data frame see here I have created the data frame so in order to perform merge operation using Spark SQL we have to create dump view so I'm creating in this step it's done so let me display our source and target this is our source and this is our Delta table so in our Delta table you can see there is only one record which we inserted just um, a few seconds back and this is our new source so in the new source there would be one record you know this is matched employee ID based on employee ID when we are comparing when we are joining you know this uh, thousand primary key thousand that is matched so there is um, there is a difference in city so Columbus it was the old value and Chicago that is the latest value from the source so Chicago would be updated for city and at the same time 2000 there is no matching record for 2000 so this brand new record should be inserted into the target that is the expectation so let me execute the merge statement once again it's the same um, let me execute merge st uh, statement is being performed at the end of the operation let me display the data also see here number of uh, affected rows 2 1 record got updated 1 record got inserted so at the end of the operation I am displaying the uh, uh, Delta table once again so here we can see earlier this uh, employee ID 1000 it was uh, having the data Columbus for city column and now it is updated with Chicago at the same time it has inserted one more new record for employee ID 2000 I hope you understood uh, how to perform merge operation using Spark SQL now let me ex uh, explain how to perform the same operation using PySpark so in order to perform uh, merge operation using PySpark we have to keep uh, the data in data frame format not in table so we don't need to create a, a temporary view but at the same time you know, we have to create the delta table okay we have already created delta table in this location so we have to create the delta table as a data frame so uh, it's not a data frame but you know this uh, this is syntax okay we have to create uh, the delta table so now this is our target and a df that is our source so based on this uh, target and source you now here this is the syntax I'm, I'm going to perform merge and I'm going to update uh, this delta df target uh, so I'm giving alias target and source our source is a df this is our source so this is the syntax then uh, here I have to provide the condition joining condition then when matched then we have to update uh, all these uh, target values if there is no matched record then I have to insert when not matched then I need to insert all these values so this is the syntax at the end we need to give dot execute this is the syntax um, for merge operation in PySpark so let me start from the first step so I'm going to create our sample data frame sample source data so here uh, if you see you know in our previous exercise you know, this is our uh, target Delta table so uh, this is un containing two records now for uh, employee ID 2000 I am changing the name from Nancy to Sarah 
I am updating. I have to update. At the same time, I am going to I am going to insert one brand new record for three thousand. So this is our source. So let me execute. So I have created source data frame. Then after that, I have to create delta table. So for the syntax is delta table. Then for path, we have to give the path name. Similarly, we can uh, create using table name also for table. But here. I have created a delta lake using a particular path, so I am creating. I am using this syntax. Let me create this one, so it's done. Then I am going to execute a merge operation using PySpark. So merge is being performed. At the end of the operation, I am going to display the data for your reference. Here you can see, you know, earlier for two thousand. Name was Nancy. Now it got updated to Sarah. And similarly, earlier we didn't have the data three th um, three thousand. You know, earlier in our previous uh, exercise, you know, we didn't have record three thousand. Now even that got inserted using uh, PySpark merge operation. This is how we can uh, perform merge operation using Spark SQL and PySpark in DataBricks development. I hope you understood the concept. Hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this video. If you like this content, uh, don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.